dear Mr. Minister, dear Ambassador, dear guests, I've seen the uh, announcer was correct, but on the screen I've already become Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, which has not happened. Uh, but since uh, Mr. Mixer is away from the country and I'm his, uh, officially his first substitute in the government, then perhaps it's uh, not too wrong either. I'd uh, like to warmly welcome you here in Tallinn to this uh, conference, working together for a greener, competitive and inclusive Europe. And of course, I'd like to wish you a good Europe Day today on the 9th of, uh, of May. I think uh, uh, since this Sunday, Europe is looking much more optimistic than it was last week. And uh, we can continue our optimistic work for a better union. Today, Norway, Iceland and Liechtenstein and Estonia will sign the third memorandum of, of understanding for the next uh, program period from 2014 to 2021. And I have to say that Estonian cooperation with the European economic area countries and, and Norwegian financial mechanisms has been outstanding. I told that to the Minister Jensen and to the Ambassador previously, I think we have uh, really, really benefited from those uh, programs, both from in the first one from 2004 to 2009 and second time from 2009 to 2014. The Memorandum of Understanding will ensure the efficient and targeted implementation of the agreed programs that contribute to the reduction of economic and social disparities here in Estonia, but also more widely in, the, in Europe. And uh, of course, which is no less important, it will also strengthen the bilateral relations between the donor countries and Estonia. There are, of course, numerous examples of how the EEA Norway programs have uh, benefited us. Most importantly, I think these projects have made life in Estonia better. It has changed our society um, in many regards closer to the Nordic model but more generally to make it more competitive, greener, and more inclusive. And that's also the theme of today's conference. Um, thanks to these projects, we have supported areas uh, that needed additional resources, and we managed uh, to pilot some of very important um, sort of, yeah, projects, for lack of a better word, uh, that I think otherwise would either take much more time for us to start dealing with them or would not have happened at all. Social Ministry, of course, has been um, uh, very lucky, very lucky in this regard. We have uh, had excellent cooperation with, uh, uh, with the, with the, within this program. We have managed to start new services uh, that we haven't uh, been able to do previously, um, both in public health, for example, a network of mental illness centers for children and youth that are work operating now in, in different cities in Estonia and have uh, been incredibly positive, not only in providing the new service, but also in building up a, a wider network of specialists who, who, who deal with these issues. And as I said to the, to the minister when we met before, and as I've said it's previously, I think apart from very concrete um, sort of financing mechanism and projects that we've uh, run, I think the most important development or, or benefit from that is that we've been able to um, move on some of the very important issues uh, like gender equality, uh, also mental health, social inclusion in general, on issues where the social value system of the Estonian society here 
does not sufficiently address the necessity for those changes. And the fact that with the help of the EEA and, and Norwegian donors, we've been able to start moving in those directions, starting, start to prioritize some of the issues that are being prioritized in, in those countries and, and, and in, in many other countries to which we look up to. And we've been able to uh, start our work here on that is, I think, one of the most important uh, results of that. So it's not that we've done things and we've invested money in necessary things, but I think we are changing the society, the way the society perceives some of the very important social issues. For example, just one, one, one example here, gender equality. Ten years ago, Estonia was still one of the worst in terms of gender pay gap, as it is now in Europe. But then the general understanding of the importance of this issue, that it's not only about women earning less, but it's also about society in general losing out. Understanding of what are the reasons for gender inequality was almost non-existent, systematically speaking. Today, with this help that we have received, we have managed to work through the statistical tools to understand it better. We have, in different Estonian universities, specialists who have looked into that and have come up with a very concrete understanding of this different aspects of this very complex issue. And as a result of that, and I would say primarily as a result of that, we have been able and we have seen that now in the past five years, the awareness of the issue rising, and finally it is something not to laugh about, but actually a problem to be solved. And it is now slowly breaking out of this sort of little feminist bubble and becoming an actually important topical social issue to be solved collectively, horizontally through different spheres. And for that, of course, uh, we really have to thank you. Without that help, these developments would not have happened or would have happened a decade or more later. And building upon that, I think we'll be in the new period, we'll be able to start new things to achieve similar goals, to broaden out in this regard. Uh, for the same aims, and uh, having the previous experience of the previous two programs behind us, I'm uh, absolutely certain that the new program will be as successful as the previous ones have been. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. And uh, now the welcome speech from uh, Norway's side. Uh, Minister of EU and the EU Affairs of Norway, Mr. Frank Bak Jensen. Thank you, Minister, dear friends. Good morning, dear Homekost. It's a great pleasure to be here in Tallinn with you today on uh, Europe Day uh, and my mother's birthday, actually. Norway and uh, Estonia enjoy a close and excellent relationship. We're allied countries and we are partners working for a strong and united Europe. And such, as such, celebrating Europe Day in Tallinn together with the incoming EU presidency and by signing an agreement that will foster new cooperation for the good of our relationship and for Europe is very timely. This year, all eyes will be on Estonia. You have a great task at hand. In a few weeks, you take over the EU presidency. And you will do this six months ahead of schedule. I have never doubted that um, if there's any country who can pull this off, it is Estonia. We recognize you as efficient, responsible, and agile. My meetings with uh, Sven Mixer and Mati Masikas yesterday fully confirmed this. Norway also holds a 
presidency this year. We are chairing the Nordic Cooperation and we are coordinating the Nordic Baltic Cooperation. There is considerable overlap in our presidency priorities and yours. The best example is perhaps our joint focus on digitalization. Two weeks ago, I had the pleasure of meeting Urve Palo in Oslo, where she and several other Estonians participated at the Digital North Conference, which we hosted as part of our Nordic presidency. Together with her Nordic and Baltic, uh, together with her Nordic and Baltic colleagues, Palo signed an ambitious declaration of regional digital cooperation. Together, we agreed to take the lead in order to fully establish a digital single market and to strengthen cross-border digital cooperation in both the public and private sectors. This will be good for our citizens, our companies. This will be good for Europe. I also believe that the milestone in regional cooperation that we reached in Oslo can be useful for Estonia when you push the digital agenda forward as presidency of the EU. We are ready to be with you as a partner and as a support as you continue to lead on this field. Dear friends, we are here today both to celebrate the closing of a very successful chapter in our cooperation and to open new chapters. The EEA and Norway grants have two objectives. To reduce economic and social disparities in Europe and to strengthen the bilateral relationship between the donors, Iceland, Liechtenstein and Norway, and the beneficiary countries. The grants contribute to a green, inclusive and competitive Europe. As such, the cooperation with Estonia has been a model partnership. I don't know if you are already tired of hearing that Estonia is best in class uh, when it comes to management of their funds, but it's true. Furthermore, Estonia is also one of the, on the forefront in terms of creating excellent partnerships between people, institutions, and companies who are involved with the grants. This has fostered real exchanges of experiences between Norway and Estonia, both ways. It has created value for companies who have developed commercially vi uh, viable products and services. And it has given our relationship further depth because we know and understand each other better. The MOU that we will sign in just a few minutes will give us a framework for, cooperating, for cooperation full of exciting opportunities. We have agreed to create a flagship program for business development, innovation and small and medium-sized enterprises. 23 million euro has been allocated to this area. The contents will be de developed over the next few months. But it's safe to say that we are establishing a forward-looking tool for creating innovative green solutions that will enable the companies to be technological leaders. We have also agreed to explore the inclusion of cybersecurity here. In my view, this program will be a major component in our digital cooperation. Furthermore, innovation is closely linked to research, which will have a separate program. I'm also pleased to note that we will continue to work together for the benefit of the most vulnerable groups. Under the umbrella program for local development, we will cooperate on children and youth at risk, public health ch challenges, domestic and gender-based violence, work-life balance and youth participation in the labor market. I believe that this program will play an important role in supporting the Estonian government's efforts and strategies also when it comes to integration issues. Support for civil society is a very important part of the EEA and Norway grants. This is a knowledge in the MOU where we have agreed to go beyond the minimum requirement and allo allocate 4 million euros to the NGO fund. This sends a strong signal about our government's joint views on the importance of NGOs for develop developing a diverse, inclusive and responsible society. Finally, we are continuing our joint efforts in the climate and uh, environment sector. I believe that this is a great strength uh, of the grants that they are relevant for the most pressing concerns at all time. Europe is leading the campaign against climate change and our cooperation can play a part. In short, we have a very exciting times ahead. The program have never been more politically relevant in a bilateral, regional or European context. We have the advantage of starting from a very solid foundation from the previous period. Partners on both sides are ready to go. Al, I, think all, uh, I thank all of you for making the period 
till 2014 such uh, success. And I wish you all the best for making the new period even better. Thank you for your attention and good luck. Thank you, ministers. And now we have uh, one official, very important event to do, and this official signing. Before it, I just want to remind that we have uh, live broadcasting. Uh, everything what you see now here is also shown by the others, and that you can tell your friends that they can watch on Postimes and uh, have a live broadcast. Uh, but now I'd like to ask, uh, behind this table, there is uh, different folders and uh, documents. And I would last, like to ask, uh, in order, there, you see there is uh, five flags, three name, and three chairs. It's, we have four sides, but we have three persons. Uh, I explain right now why we have this kind of situation. But at first, I would like to ask on stage um, Ambassador from Ireland, um, Christine Arnadottir, please, can you be on the stage? And then from Liechtenstein, we, they already signed the document in Bristol, and we are very thankful for, the, for the, their commitment on this project. But uh, they are they signed already on the documents, and that's why we didn't have this representative in here. From Norway, Minister, uh, Minister of E and the EU Affairs of Norway, again, Frank Buck Jensen. And from Estonian side, Minister of Health and Labor of the Republic of Estonia, Mr. Yevgeny Oskin Osinovsky. Please, four of you, three of you, please. Uh, I ask you on the, on the stage and uh, take a seat behind your name. Uh -huh. It's okay, everything okay? Thank you. I just said that we have live broadcasting, but I see we have more broadcasters here. This is uh, this okay. Very important moment to put the right sign in the right place, in the right document. Of course, before you signing a document, it's good to read through it. from this um, support from Norway, those areas where those um, funds and foundations going is business and develop development, innovation and uh, small and medium enterprises. 
local development and poverty reduction and social dialogue, decent work. And what we heard from our Minister of uh, Health and Labor talked about um, salary gap, which not too big. And of course, after the official signing, we, we have the, the, the photo session with those folders. Quick. Before we are continuing, I would like to ask um, uh, Ambassador of Ireland to say some uh, words. Thank you, Roberts. And uh, please, Miss Christine Arnadottir. Thank you very much. And I will allow myself to say that it is not an ambassador of Ireland, but Iceland minor, uh, perhaps, pronunciation. But congratulations to all of you. I think we have, are signing here a, 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 a contract that will make us collaborate uh, for the benefit of all in the next coming five years. And I must say that uh, uh, Minister uh, Osinovsky, I very much appreciate it your emphasis. I think you have exactly uh, sensed in where the uh, Nordic countries, Norway, Iceland, will, uh, can make an added value. It is a big moment. We are very small as a country, but we have a very important history together, Iceland and uh, 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 Estonia, not to mention, of course, Norway. Uh, where uh, an ambassador once said to, uh, to me, well, you were the rebels that left us some uh, uh, thousand years ago. And I said, don't forget that we were also the innovative ones, <laughs> for good and for worse. But I am only going to say that this is a big moment. I'm very happy to be here. I bring best regards from Minister of Foreign Affairs Iceland, who did not have the opportunity to be here today. And uh, I thank uh, the Embassy of, of Norway for preparing this meeting in collaboration with the Foreign Ministry of, of, uh, of uh, Estonia. And again, say uh, this is a good day, it's a big day, and uh, a day for uh, the history, I think, of our, our common history. Thank you. Thank you. My mistake. Uh, thank you, Ambassador for Iceland. So um, now we are ready to uh, go through, go, go the next uh, session panel. But before it, we would like to um, thank all the uh, ministers and ambassadors. Thank you for this uh, moment, and um, thank you. And make uh, one whole picture probably with um, changing uh, those uh, documents, and, uh, and thank you. We'll, yeah, thank you, yeah, thank you.
It's always very difficult to... Thank you a lot, ministers and ambassadors.